lied by not including some income that he had earned, but in another case, he lied by saying that he had made a bunch of money and had big fat bank accounts that he didn't actually have. That is where I question whether he has, uh, I'm not saying this clinically, but some kind of a true personality disorder because who lies on a congressional form under penalty of perjury and says they have a bunch of money that they don't? Was you, that one of the allegations against him? He's a weird guy, isn't he, George Santos? He's very, he is odd in my yeah. opinion. Andy, one more thing. Go ahead. The third thing, and then the third thing, which has nothing to do with him being a politician, is during the pandemic, he applied for and received uh, pandemic era unemployment benefits that he was not actually entitled to because he didn't tell them about a job that he had and he claimed to be unemployed when in fact he had a job. You know, just wonder, and he's being called on to resign by even some Republicans, although most are silent on it. And uh, politically, uh, he's, and he, until he's convicted, actually, I think even with a conviction, he stays in Congress uh, according to the rules. Um, and he's going to run for the seat again. Boy, you got to explain that one to me because how much of a even it's a Republican district, barely he squeaked through. Uh, how does someone run for office? Uh, does he does he bring the indictment with him and show it, saying they're they're after me? Uh, I, I it's a witch hunt. Except he's not uh, Donald Trump. That's the problem. Uh, are you surprised he hasn't resigned yet? No, give him some time because because and this is what I would do, too, is I would hold my ability to resign and make up the political problems go away. I would hold that as a chit, as a bargaining tool with the prosecutors to see if I can get a better deal on the prison sentence in exchange for agreeing to resign. And uh, the reason he is not being forced, I mean, literally kicked out uh, is because the majority of Republicans have a four vote majority. And if he gets booted, it becomes a three oh majority. And uh, that's a little bit too... And you need two-thirds, yeah. I believe, to, to kick him out. Right. They just don't have it. All right, coming up, Steve Gregory. Uh, we have a, a couple of stories to talk about. We mentioned this morning...
1560, that's fine. Does your home have a gourmet kitchen with an oversized pantry so you can store everything? What about an office with Wi-Fi built-in and hardwired internet outlets for gaming? or a gorgeous porch or patio for more outdoor living. With Pulte's innovative and modern floor plans, you can have them all. At Pulte, we build homes that think ahead to tomorrow so you can build the life you're dreaming of today. Find your home at Pulte.com. Pulte Homes, more life built in. Equal housing opportunity. But for the broker, you pay a lot. So let me tell you about directbuyers.com. Directbuyers.com well, you do almost nothing. Well, actually, you just sign papers. They'll come out. Uh, they won't go into your house. Uh, they'll pay you cash within 10 days or less. Directbuyers.com. And they'll give you a fair offer. And never lowball you. And a $15,000 cash advance before closing. Go to directbuyers.com or call 844-844-242-SELL. 